Hello everybody, I'm GTG. Welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at chat channels. And of course we're first going to make a channel manager. So let me actually create the channel manager over here and following our format over here it's going to be CM and over here CM equals new channel manager. I'm not going to uh, cast this because we do not need it inside of our channel manager. So let's actually create the class. Click finish and channel manager. So what are we going to do within channel manager? Well, there's a couple of things that we want to do. We want to make a method to join a channel. We want to make a method that leaves a channel. And we also want to um, create a method that, uh, yeah, that gives all that returns a list returns a list with the players in a channel okay let's start with the join channel method so we're going to make a new public void of course public void join channel and it's going to take in player player and string channel name uh, what we are going to uh, use in order to keep track of what player is in what channel uh, is a hash map of course so we're going to use a public hash map hash map and it's going to be a player with a string so uh, that we can keep track of which player is in what chat channel and I'm going to call this player channel in order to indicate that it's a player channel um, variable equals new hash map hash map uh, player string and we also need to keep track of uh, what players in what um, yeah what channel so in order to do that we are going to create another hash map public hash map and it's going to take in string that's the name of the chat channel and an array list of type player those are all the players that are that are inside the channel I'm going to call it channels equals new hash map string for the name and array list for the recipients so as far as joining a channel goes uh, we first want to get the players that are inside the channel currently so array list player and it's going to be players equals get the channels dot get channel name and uh, what we want to check if players so if the channel does not exist yet if players is equal to null then what we want to do is we want to set players equal to a new array list in order to prevent any uh, null pointer exceptions we're just going to create it inside of the join method so that every other class that wants to join a player that's a non-existent channel they will just create it over here uh, after that of course we want to do players.add or player so over here do that player and we want to put channels.put uh, yeah or channel name so channel name and then the players as a variable and this will keep uh, yeah this will take take care of the channels but we also need to set the player and the channel name to that so that we can know which player which channel a player is in so what we are going to do is we are also going to do player channel dot put then the player is going to be player of course and then over here it's going to be channel name that way we have a two-way reference and I'd also like to send my players a message, chat color dot green, uh, that they have joined a channel. So you joined space over here plus chat color dot gold plus the channel name in order to keep uh, to give the player an ID that they are in the channel. But when we join a channel, we also want to leave the old channel, the previous channel. And in order to do that, we have to create a leave channel command uh, method. You guessed it. So for the leave uh, channel void, uh, we are going to do exactly the same as over the as with the join channel. So it's going to be a player, player, and string channel name, channel name. But now what we are going to do is we are going to get again the players, but now remove so array list player players equals channels dot get uh, the channel name over here and what we are going to do is players dot remove our player and then we have to set it over here put uh, the channel name and players and then we also 
remove the player channel from our player. So remove player. Player channel dot remove player uh, so that we know that uh, the player is not in a player ch in a chat channel anymore. So we have to assign him one before he actually can speak. So leave channel does that and uh, join channel over here. What I want to do is so if the player is currently in a channel and a checkable by doing player channel dot get uh, player and it should not equal no of course because if it equals no then there is no uh, input over here equals no what we are going to do then is we are going to uh, leave channel so leave channel player is going to be player again and over here channel name that way we know for sure that the players left the previous channel but it's not channel name because that's the new channel name that you want to use so instead of channel name what we are going to do is we are going to uh, get the string string previous channel pref channel equals player channel player channel dot get player of course because we want to have the previous channel and over here what we are going to do is we are going to change it to previous channel that will take care of the actual leaving of the right channel okay now for the returning of the list with the players in a channel so returning of the array list over here when you ask for a string because uh, when you want to access something from this class for from another class you want to have it really easy so we're going to do public array list of type player and it's going to be called uh, get uh, channel just call it like that and it's going to take in a string of course string and it's going to be channel name and what we want to return is uh, the channel so what we want to return is uh, first I want to get the channel name uh, out of the player it shouldn't be string channel name by the way it should be player player because what I want to do is I want to get the channel the player is in so what I'm going to do is get channel uh, channel name over here equals player channel dot get player and then we want to return channels dot get channel name and, and channel name cannot be null by the way the channels dot get channel name since the player is already inside that channel so you do not have to check for that over here quick recap we've made a join channel method a leave channel method and a get channel method and we keep track of the channels, uh, the players inside of the channels over here in the channels hash map. And we keep track of what players in what channel inside of our player channel hash map. Okay, let's get back to the main class because what I now want to do is make a uh, another class that make, takes care of our chat channel event listening. So I'm going to create a new class over here, uh, get server. So get plugin manager of course just the standard things to register events and it's going to be a new chat channel and it's going to also take this as a constructor and over here this as well just create over here uh, create class chat channel I clicked my mm, misclicked chat channel and create the constructor over here as well and let me just fix the constructor real quickly text warp uh, plugin we're still inside the TextWare plugin. If you do not know what it is, check out the previous two ep episodes. Plugin equals text bar. Well, inside of here, we want to create a new event handler, of course. And the event handler is going to listen to on player chat. Because what we want to do, it's an async player chat event. The async player check chat event. I don't know if I did anything with that yet. Can't remember. Uh, it could be and uh, with that we are going to get the player of course edo get player and um there's a method edo get recipients uh, recipients i don't know how to pronounce that word and it will get all um the yeah all the people that the message is delivered to but there's no set recipient method so we are just going to clear it so now the message will not get sent to anybody and what i am going to do now is I'm going to do plugin.cm so the chat manager the get channel and it's going to be player p and this will return that array list uh, the array list that we uh, returned inside of that method and now I'm going to show you something new because there's a possible uh, normally you do for uh, each player inside of that with the for player p inside of play the player list 
Well, there's a, um, yeah, a nicer, more beautiful method, so to say, and that is dot .stream. So you're going to make it into a stream. You don't have to know uh, what the stream is uh, for each. And then I'm going to do player over here like this. E.getRecipient.add the player. And let me explain exactly what this does. So it does, it gets the, the plugin, the get channel, so all the uh, receiving players. Let me actually type this out. Normally you do array list and then player. And it's going to be a uh, player. So the players that are receiving the message equals plugin dot uh, cm dot get channel p. That will return you the same thing as over here, but then instead in a variable. And then yeah, you'd say for uh, every player, player inside of players, uh, we want to add them to e get recipients dot add player. But now instead we just quickly write it over here. As you can see, the player is the same as this. You do not have to indicate what type it is because uh, there's only one type within there. And then we send, uh, we do this for every player inside of that list. It's just a fun little thing. I uh, hope you can use that in other kinds of stuff. If you do not know what I'm doing over here, just ask me on the Discord. Uh, the link is in the description box below. That's it for all the coding. It's really yeah, simple for a complex chat channel plugin. Of course, you can just easily adjust this so that players can be in multiple chat channels or uh, admins can receive messages from all chat channels. Uh, just figured out how I'm quickly going to, uh, over here, uh, add an event handler to... Um, public void on player join and it's going to be a player join event of course let me quickly fix the O over there player join event and then I'm just going to quickly plug in dot cm dot join channel player is going to be either get player of course and channel name is just general so that we actually have a channel uh, yeah a channel to show off and that's actually how I do it it's up to you how you want to assign each player to a uh, channel can be through a command, can be through a GUI, can be through player join events or whatever. That's it for the coding and uh, see you on the server. We're inside Minecraft now, start up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created. And as you can see over here you join general and if I type something I receive it because I'm a member of the general channel. And if it is correctly, I do not know for sure, it should not mess up any prefixes or suffix uh, plugin. Because it doesn't do anything to the actual message. It only does something to the people that are receiving the message. And that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit longer episode. But I do not. Yeah, I wanted to fit this in well in an episode. And not split it up in multiple uh, smaller episodes. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section or in the description box. You will find a link to the Discord channel. Which you can tell me how awesome the channel is and what you want to see as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.